Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome to the Weekly Liv episode 5 or number 5. I obviously, as you can see, have been to the gym and today is Auckland anniversary day, hence why Corpus home. It's a public holiday and yeah, basically the plan for today is to do a whole lot of nothing. I do want a meal prep for Corpus and I, so I'm going to go to the supermarket pretty soon. But yeah, I did my leg day today and I'm feeling pretty good. And I did almost all of the workouts today instead of skipping them because I was too tired. So that's really, really great. And then I did some um, walking to cool down, which is what made my face go red. I wasn't red until I did my cool down. So anyway, right now it's 10.29, so I can eat in about half an hour. But until then, I'm probably just going to chill. I haven't vlogged today because Corby and I have just been really chilling out and enjoying each other's company and playing games and all sorts of stuff. So there hasn't been anything to vlog really. We did go to the supermarket and I got some supplies to make my favorite soup. So I made that for this week and yes I know, we are actually in a heat wave in New Zealand, but for some reason I felt like making soup again in the summertime. So I made soup because it's just so easy. And like I've said in my past video when I was talking about it, it's relatively clean so I don't feel bad eating it. So I made that and I also made some bliss balls let me show you these so i made these little bliss balls they're like just dates peanut butter cocoa um and i think oats i think that's it yeah that's literally it i don't even roll them in coconut because i don't think they need it and then i just poked a little chocolate chip into each of them but it makes 20 and two is one serving so yeah this is super duper easy i will post the recipe down below but it's pretty delish and i'm going to take these for pre-workout snacks Boring Olivia here, back in the same old room of the house. It's Tuesday and I just woke up. I literally went to bed at 2am last night because Corpo and I were watching, and Hazel were watching the Royal Rumble, WWE Royal Rumble, and we were watching it super late at night. So I was pooped, so I slept in a little bit later. Luckily today, um, I'm just going into work in, in my own time, like when I'm ready. So it's like 8.30 right now, so I'll probably be in at like 9.30. So... I'm just going to quickly do my makeup. Um, my skin looks pretty good right now, apart from this random pimple here, which I never normally get pimples there. Today is supposed to be the hottest day in our current heat wave that we're having in Auckland. And of course, today is a day that I'm not going to be in aircon, so I'm a little bit scared. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. And then I'm going to go to the gym after work. So this is my super simple face for today. I'm just wearing a Huda Beauty eyeshadow on my eyes. I've got Hula Bronzer, a blush from Tarte and Exo Beauty Highlighter and then yeah I'm just wearing uh, a baby cream today so I like the way that it turned out it doesn't actually matter because it's probably all going to come off but I'm going to go to work and I'll see you guys at some point today. So it is night time now well not night time but it's the evening and I thought I would come on and just update you guys on what I've been doing today. I obviously haven't been vlogging because I've been at work but I had a really good day at work. I was just sitting at my classroom and helping my tutor te not tutor teacher, my beginning teacher at school. I wanted to come on. I feel like I've got water on my face because I just brushed my teeth. But I wanted to come on here and try out my new face mask that I got sent last week. So this is the Alia Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. And this was not a sponsored part of the video. I was sent it for free to try out. So I thought I would try it out with you guys so that you can see how it looks on. And obviously what it does to my skin. So it just says spread evenly on your face, sit back and relax for 10 minutes, remove with warm water and after that you're supposed to follow with a moisturizer. It doesn't say much about what it's supposed to do for you, it just says detoxify and brighten and this is a cruelty free product. I will leave a link off down below. But yeah, I'm just going to put this all over my face using my little spatula that I got from Sephora and then I'll be back. I'm not too sure what the scent of it is but it's got Witch Hazel, Licorice, Pomegranate, Mangosteen, Old Man's Weed, Rosemary, Kelp, um, and Kakadum Plum. Those are like the herbs and fruity things in there, so I thought I'd just tell you guys that. But yeah, I'm just going to put this all over my face. I fully had a booger just then, but anyway, this is my skin before... It wants to focus. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but that's my skin before. <laughs> I'm going to do my forehead and around my nose at the big mirror and I'll be back once it's all on. So the mask's been on for probably like nearly 30 minutes because I got distracted but this is what it looks like up close. Pretty crusty, pretty masky. 
It's a little bit stingy now that it's like completely dry. It's more like itchy stingy if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take it off and then I'll be back. I don't know if you guys can see a drastic difference from the before, but well, that was really crooked. Um, I think it looks good. Is it the best mask that I've ever used in my entire life? I'm not sure. It's still a little bit congested in here, but in terms of like on top here, it's really nice. My skin does feel really smooth and brightened and it does look a lot clearer in my opinion, but it didn't, it just didn't get rid of like all the sebum in here. That's the only thing. But other than that, I do really like it and I'll definitely use it again. I feel like face masks, you need to use them a few times to like really get an idea. But my skin does feel really smooth um, and it does, in my opinion, look a lot better. Happy hump day guys, it is Wednesday and yes my voice is hoarse, I don't know why. I woke up this morning feeling a little bit low energy so I just watched some YouTube. But yeah, I've got a team day at work today so it's just lots of stuff with my team. And that's about it. And then I'm going to be going to the gym afterwards and then I'm going home for dinner again. I like to go home for dinner once a week. And this term, I think it's going to be Wednesdays because my mum is busy on Tuesdays. Um, and yeah. I don't know if you guys know, but if you guys get like this, but some mornings if I'm like really tired or really groggy or whatever and um, we wake up in the morning, I'm like super clingy to Corbett. I'm like, don't leave me. I'm like super clingy and annoying. And I just felt really off this morning. And then I just kind of like, like I said, took a chill pill, watched some YouTube and now I'm feeling really good and I'm ready for today and I wanna get lots done. So I better get going so that I can start doing my jobs. By the way, my axolotls over there, I'm gonna be taking them to school pretty soon. So I will show you guys them again before I move them. But yeah. You guys, I get so mad every time I break my screen protector. I mean, it's better than breaking my phone. But it's like, really? Did I really need to carry my phone? in such a silly way that was going to crack my screen protector. Aye aye aye. What's up guys, it is after school. It's like four, no it's not, it's like five. I decided not to go to the gym today because I just didn't feel like it. And actually, so here's the story. So I was gonna come home for dinner and I was like, oh, I'll go home a little bit earlier and I'll have a swim and I'll do some laps. And then I got here and my brother's friends are here and I was like, oh, I can't swim with them here. And I was like, what are they even doing? And I got upstairs and they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. And I was like, that's so cool. Um, like actually cool, I'm not like taking the piss. I want to like go upstairs and like sit there and just like intently watch them play. But like, they'll be like, can you please leave? I am confined to my childhood bedroom, which is now a spare room. Hence why there's a clothes horse in here. It's also a giant hole in the roof. We used to be there because the air duct fell out. Imagine if that had have happened when I was living here. Looking at it just makes me want to vomit, but anyway, I'm just in here um, hiding. While I am here, let's open my iHerb stuff. So I ordered it ages ago, like the second week of January maybe, and I ordered it here because if you guys watched the vlog where I ordered it, I said I order it here because there's always somebody home. So the delivery date was like the 22nd to the 24th of Jan, and on the 20 second I think they tried to deliver it and there was nobody home there's a car here and two people here so like it's not there's nobody home and I was like okay so I tried to organize a re-delivery and their website was down so I waited and I tried the next day which was the 20 it must have been the 21st actually that it arrived but anyway I rescheduled the re-delivery for the 24th which they wouldn't let me do it for like 24 hours ahead I had to like do 20, 48 hours so I had to wait two more days and then it didn't even arrive on the Thursday it arrived on the Friday and I haven't been home since before it arrived so that's why I'm only just getting it now so I spent quite a lot on iHerb I don't normally spend this much but two of the things I really needed the first one was a replacement of my favorite protein which this is like really dented, but hopefully it'll puff out again. Anyway, that actually doesn't matter. This is the Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard 100% Whey Protein because I don't, I don't, I drink cow's milk, so I buy whey protein. And it's the vanilla ice cream flavor. It tastes really yum and vanilla-y, as I'm sure you can imagine. I like this brand because it because it's a whey protein. It tastes good with water or milk, um, and I usually just have mine with water just to save on like fat and extra carbs. Um, but yeah, this has 24 grams of protein per scoop. So that was their plain whey protein. I also picked up this and I'm so excited to try this. This is the Optimum Nutrition Cassian Protein. Now this 
pro type of protein is slow digesting so this is good to have like before you go to bed or before you start a fast like because how I do intermittent fasting like having this at night time is really good because it digests very slowly now I probably would not obviously have both of these in one day this probably would be for me to have like on a day where I don't feel like chocolates but this will be good for a day that I feel like chocolate I got the flavored chocolate supreme again it has 24 grams of protein so I'm probably gonna have this as dessert so the next two things are something that I bought on a whim and they are water drops I don't normally buy this kind of thing because I like drinking water but I thought that these might be nice to have to like drink in the morning because sometimes in the morning I crave like a V or something fizzy don't ask me why I want fizzy first thing in the morning but anyway I got these so I got the best energy caffeine taurine citrulline drops liquid water enhancer for everybody zero sugar in orange and then I also got the Garcinia Cambogia extract liquid water enhancer for everybody this is like a um appetite suppressant i don't know how i feel about that but i thought i'd try it out these were like six dollars each new zealand so i was like mm, you get like 24 eight floor downs how much is that 24 like 300 ml servings so like 24 glasses per bottle so i was like i don't really care might as well try it the next thing i have been wanting for ages and it is coconut aminos and they are essentially a like soy free soy sauce basically this is a substitute for soy sauce and it's got like barely any sodium in it compared to regular soy sauce so one teaspoon has 90 milligrams of soy sauce whereas regular soy sauce has heaps i've never tried it before but people always say that it tastes like soy sauce and the last thing that i got is something that a youtuber that i really love called sarah's day recommended i think i've talked about her a few times during my vlog videos but she did an iherb mention in one of her videos i don't think it was an iherb haul maybe it was actually she was talking about this schmidt's natural deodorant and i am a sweaty person i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i'm a stinky person um the only deodorant that works for me is the clinical protection one like i've been wearing it all day i don't smell at all i don't i'm not like sweaty that being said today wasn't that hot but yeah i wanted to try something natural because i know that the aluminium in this deodorant is not good for you so i picked this one up and i got the scent um ylang ylang i hate this one i think i always say it wrong ylang ylang and calendula calendula which is a flower they're both flowers obviously it's a deodorant and this is a natural deodorant jar so when you open it up it's in a little pot jar and you scoop out the deodorant with a little spatula just like that this smells it's not really my kind of scent it's very floral the reason why i got it is because i'm pretty sure ylang ylang or lang lang however you say it is not that strong of a, of a smell but this smells like medicinal i like that underlying smell but it mostly smells floral but i got this because it's like cruelty free um vegan but it's got so few ingredients and i can read all of the ingredients that are on here which is really good and i just want to try something different like i don't mind visibly sweating but i don't like being smelly so as long as it stops me from being smelly i'm willing to give it a try and it was relatively inexpensive like around the same price or cheaper than my regular deodorant so that was everything that i got from iherb i bought that stuff from optimum nutrition because I was going to get some stuff from Woman's Best and then I was like, nah, I don't think so. But now I think I'm still going to buy stuff from Woman's Best. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday and I, again, had a really rough start to the day. I'm super tired again. I think going back to school is like, I've got so much stuff on my mind that I can't really sleep. Which is annoying, but it's like, a, like I'm trying to tell myself it's fine. I'll get back into the swing of things. But this morning, seeing as I have a slightly later start at work today, and the longer I talk the closer I am to being late but I have a slightly later start at work today so I thought I would go to the gym this morning and do some hit cardio because I don't haven't done any in a long time so I thought I would do that this morning so I'm here I made it it's a lot later than I wanted to it's like half an hour later but I have to be at work half an hour later so it all kind of evens out so I'm gonna do about 25 minutes I think of hit and five minutes warm-up cool down hit by the way is high intensity cardio so it's like running on a treadmill like sprints on sprints off 
or I don't know like going ham on a bike and then slowing down I'm gonna try this incline walking one that I saw um, online and we'll see how that goes welcome to my attractive no car mount car angle where you can totally see my double chin hello just wanted to come and say that my hip went really well it was super duper fun I actually really enjoyed it I did 20 minutes not what I was going to do because it was so super duper hard but I'll work up to that so I just did like two minutes of like a like not a high incline but like a pretty high incline and then three minutes on like a low incline and then I next time I go I want to do three minutes of high two minutes of low and yeah so I did that and I did my makeup and I actually feel like a grub right now like I don't like my outfit I forgot how ugly this shirt is I like don't like it so I'm in a good mood like mentally but like I hate the way that I look today Hey guys, I know I last vlogged in my car, but it is after school now. And I just wanted to tell you that I had a very, very traumatic day because I got to work and I went to go grab my drink bottle and I found out that I'd left my favorite drink bottle at the gym and I was absolutely devastated. Like I nearly cried. I'm not even gonna kid you guys. So I called the gym and asked them to go and find it for me. And I just came back to the gym to pick it up. I would work out again, but um, I've actually got a really sore tummy. And I know that sounds like it's an excuse, but I've already worked out today, so I actually don't care. But I was planning on it, but um, I've got a sore tum-tum, so I don't really want to work out. So I'm just going to head home. I just got rained on, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, you can probably hear the rain. And uh, yes. I'm excited about the pizza. We're having pizza. I think I already mentioned, but uh, cheap meal. Yes. This is how much pizza I eat, because go hard or go home. Morning guys, it's Friday and as you can see, I've got my outfit on and I'm ready for work. I'm actually about to walk out the door and then I remembered, crap, I forgot to vlog this morning. So I thought I'd just quickly jump on to talk to you guys before I go to work. Actually, just remember that I forgot to brush my teeth. I normally brush my teeth when I'm in the shower, but I forgot to today. So today is another childless day at school, so we're just doing prepping and planning and all sorts of stuff like that. So it should be a good day, I think. So yeah, I'm going to head off to work. And then after that, I'm hopefully going to go to the gym today, assuming that I don't get a terrible headache or I have some other random excuse. Happy Saturday, guys. Look at my egos. I think this one's going to be okay. Yeah, he's good. He's not so good. <sighs> Saturday mornings are egg mornings. This is the end of the vlog, you guys. It is very late on Saturday slash Sunday morning. And I thought I would just really quickly finish the vlog off for you guys. Sorry about my weird volume, it's like really late and I don't want to wake up my roommate but I just wanted to farewell you guys tonight rather than tomorrow. So this vlog has been really here, there and everywhere. I don't think I mentioned but yesterday I had literally, and I'm not exaggerating, the worst migraine I've ever had in my entire life and it just really ruined me yesterday. Today I've got like pains in my back and I don't know if it's all related or what but I'm like broken right now. But yeah, this vlog's been a bit of a shambles and my week's also been a bit of a shambles. But yeah, I hope that you guys still enjoyed this video even though it was like crazy and random and not what I wanted it to be. But that's, I guess that's the reality. If I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs, sometimes they're going to be boring or weird or sad or any other emotion because it's just my life and sometimes it's boring, sometimes it's exciting, but that's just the reality of it. Anyway, I'm going to go and listen to some relaxing music and ASMR and go to bed and I'm going to have an amazing Sunday. Hope that you guys have a really good day. If you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it tells me that you guys enjoy these vlogs. Thank you as always for all your lovely comments on my vlogs. It really means a lot to me. Um, I feel like they're my most popular videos at the moment, so thank you guys. Anyway, I'm like falling asleep filming this. I was not tired at all before I got into bed and now I'm like super tired and ready to sleep. So <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye!